Sunday morning, everybody. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Uh, I pretty much took the entire weekend off. It rained a lot here. It, it, we had a pretty bad storm come through. Uh, Saturday morning, it rained really hard until about 11 or 12 o'clock. Um, Sunday was nice, but I typically don't work Sundays unless I absolutely have to. So I watch NFL football and college football. I watch football all weekend and I loved every minute of it. Uh, just wish uh, Misty had been here to enjoy it with me. So it was a little bittersweet, but uh, it was a good weekend. Uh, big announcement on the Molsha right here. So let's get into that real quick. All right, so I got the skid steer sitting here, and before we get into the job, big announcement on this mulcher. So uh, I talked to Casey, who is the owner over at uh, CCE, Carolina Construction Equipment, and they just got two big shipping containers full of TMC Kinsella mulchers uh, that arrived uh, this past week. I'll share some uh, photos here in the video. Um, so if you want one of these mulchers, they've got several of the TWF 180s with this trap door available. Um, you guys know I've been running this mulcher for about a month now. I absolutely love this mulcher. Hard ox steel made out of the body. This thing is built like a tank. Obviously it eats like nobody's business. It's got the trap door. I really do like this mulcher. I'm not, I would not blow smoke up anybody's butt. If I didn't like it, I would tell you. I actually had a meeting with the, uh, the owner of TMC Kinsella and several other high executives and uh, the sales guy here in the US and uh, gave them a bunch of feedback on this thing. A few things they're gonna try to make a little bit better on it, but uh, you know, they're very happy with everything. Also, they don't have just this mulcher in stock. They've got several other models for excavators, including big excavators, as well as I believe they've got a few mulchers for PTO farm tractors. So if you have a PTO farm tractor, I think they've got some of these um, mulchers just like this in stock for PTO tractors. Check in with them on that. There is a uh, link in the description below. There's a link to the website, a phone number, and use the promo code IDIGIT and they will hook you up. Uh, I know some people ask me about price on this thing. I believe this thing out the door uh, shipped to you, taxes and freight is about 39,000. Uh, for this model with the trap door and everything just like you see set up which is a really really good price considering I know a lot of the big pecans and the CMOFs now are well well over 40 uh, for a mulcher head for some of those other brands so to get a, a great mulcher head under 40 out the door with everything is a really really good buy so uh, please check them out and uh, yeah they will hook you guys up if you guys want one for skid steer excavator and uh, I believe PTO tractor, so check them out. Okay, so here's today's project. Now, this is the third lot on the, the lot. So uh, I was over with the mega mower last week. We mowed the, the far right lot and the middle lot. This is the far left lot. Now, typically I have been coming in here with the zero turn because it's mostly just this small grass. This lot's very shaded. And so it doesn't grow up really, really bad. And I've been mowing this with the zero turn. I've had really good success with that but we had that tropical storm come through and you can see, I'll show you there, right there, that's a widow maker. That, that pine tree is dead as hell. That's a widow maker. There's another widow maker right there. There's another one right there. I mean, I'm just standing here. There's already four or five right there. There's another one, six. This lot is full of dead pine trees. And after that storm came through, there is just deadfall everywhere in here uh just debris and deadfall on these big trees and this is almost unmobile even with the brush cutter because you'd hit one of these limbs and fling it out i got a road here i got a road there i got a parking lot over here so just a bit too dangerous so this is where this thing is going to shine we're just going to drive through here uh, mow down the grass but i'm going to go ahead and mow just grind up all this deadfall too while we're in here anything else i can grind up maybe that standing thing there too and that one it's all going so I'm gonna put you guys maybe in the cab or on the, on the machine with me for a bit. I can't really time lapse this cause it's just, you can't hardly see through here because of all the trees. But maybe when uh, I've got the tripod with me, we'll come up, I'll set up the tripod. You guys can watch me grind up some of these big dead ponds and other trees. So uh, let's hop in the machine. Should be done warming up and let's go start grinding. All right, everyone, welcome to the show. We're about to kick this thing off. I'm gonna turn the mulcher on. I'm gonna put you guys in the cab with me here for a minute. We're gonna start driving around through this lot. Really, we're just, 
I'm really just trying to mow the grass as I drive through here. You can see where I kind of came through here initially with the zero turn a little bit. Looking really good 
do that with the brush cutter. But with this door, no problem.
thank you. Having to, you know, understand what kind of material that you're mulching can also play a factor in how long it might take you to get a job done. So another thing to think about if you're thinking about getting into this business, Just love. 
left on. A lot better product in the end using the zero turn. After I came in here and really got it cleaned up.
Normally I don't grind trees by sticking the head way up in the air. I like to, it's a lot safer to grind things on the ground, but that's just so much fun to do it that way. <laughs> oh, man, that was a pretty decent, I think it was a hickory tree, man. It just smoked it, smoked it. Spitting chips, homie. All right, let's get back to mowing. We got a few more of those we're gonna take down, so we're gonna have some fun in here today. Let's go do a few more.
All right, everyone. That's the fact on that. Went around and just got all that mowed down, got it all chewed up. That was a big pine right there, and it was hard as a horse's heart in the middle of it. Oh, man, that thing was hard. But we got it. Ashes to ashes and mulch to mulch right there, homie. But yeah, this looks good. Hopefully, uh, maybe by next year, I'll be able to bring the zero turn back in here. Most of this mulch will be uh, decomposed down and soft enough where it won't hurt anything. It should, it's, I've always struggled cutting this with the brush cutter being like next to the road and a road right there. So, uh, but yeah, this is good. But you can just see there's just widow makers. One, two, three, four. They're everywhere. It's mostly pines everywhere in here but i don't do i don't do widow makers there's a you know taking down something like that you know that can go wrong you know about a hundred different ways and none of them are good especially this close to the street right there no no i don't do that but i do mowing and mulching no if the tree guy everyone will get those taken down if the tree guy wants me to come out here and chew them up with this thing well that's a whole other story once they're on the ground but i uh so I talked to Casey over at CCE uh, this past Friday, and uh, like I said before, uh, in earlier in the video, they got two big crates, uh, containers, of uh, mulchers that came in this past week. And uh, a guy from, I believe he told me from Connecticut has already bought one. And the reason why, and I, I haven't had the door up much on these jobs, but I got the, I left the door up is because of these things right here and I, this is a better shot look at all those in there that whole liner all the way down to the bottom is nothing but these counter cutter teeth in here not the whole thing is just lying on it's like a like the mouth of a shark in there so when you back drag and that material comes back up through it's just getting raked over all of those counter cutters in there and it just shreds it and they're and they're all replaceable you just bolt them off from the inside so these are on the back the bolts uh, the nuts are on the back side of this door and then you can get to the ones in there from in here through these access panels and you just bolt them bolt new ones on when they wear out and when it comes to to turning stuff on the ground into mulch that this thing is just so efficient because of that i mean it's like one you know on smaller material you know, six inches and less, it's one pass over, one pass back, suck it up through, and it's mulch, and you're on to the next thing. And when it comes to mulching, you know, the main goal is to turn whatever, you know, the standing vegetation into little bitty pieces. And that thing, this thing does that very, very quickly and efficiently, and that's the whole ball game right there with this. I think that's one of the big reasons, not the main reason, but one of the big reasons why this thing is so good uh, at what it does but uh yeah well, a guy from I believe connecticut bought one because of that but this thing eats man very happy with it had one little hydraulic leak right here uh somehow the return line here i think it was the return one of these got a little loose here at the connection i had to tighten it up a little bit but uh was uh misting out some oil there i thought it had blown the hose but i was like i don't know how i was I was mulching up that this tree actually the, the big pine over there but yeah that turned out well ate it right up so that worked out good in here and uh, like i said if you guys want one of these one of these for a skid steer this model right here they've got in stock one for an excavator and like i said i believe they've got a few for some pto tractors call cce uh again uh website and phone numbers in the description and use that promo code i dig it and uh yeah they'll hook you up it's a great price on a mulcher less than 40 grand for this mulcher is a great price i'm not gonna lie that's 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 balling you know for a for a mulcher of this quality so all right i'm out of here i'm gonna uh, blow the machine off get it cleaned up i've got a little bit of trash to walk around and pick up and that's it for me for today so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i am out Bye, everybody.